happy Friday. We're trying the beach hair look today. Don't judge, guys. It's been a long day. And of course, I spent entirely too much time on the couch watching the Masters instead of, of course, getting ready to do the show. But we've got Carmine Bianco tonight. We are going to hit the ice, maybe uh, talk a couple other, uh, you know, things to end the regular NHL season, maybe see what else Carmine's got going on on the docket over the next few months. Carmine, welcome in at Carmine Bianco WT over on Twitter, whether you are watching on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, drop your questions for Carmine, and uh, we'll get the show underway. Carmine, any Masters bets you're currently sweating right now? No, I'm not. But you know the funny thing is, Kel, is uh, Chris, uh, who does uh, works in a Detroit office and does a lot of the clipping and stuff, he sent this long-worded uh, reply to one of our hockey ones where this some guy said that he woke up um he woke up on the beach or no he woke up at the masters where he grew up in in georgia or whatever and that he dreamed that i was there and gave him the winner of the masters and he's like so carmine's got to give us a, a masters pick and this was like three weeks ago so i picked the guy from and i'm looking for him right now i think he's at like minus one i picked the guy from texas tech and uh it, i'll find it uh, in in a second but it, it's hilarious because uh I'm like, what? This is Nick Borman's stuff. This That's is like, hilarious. Uh, this, this, and, and so I gave this guy out, and I think he's at minus two now because I don't see okay. him. He was at minus one. He had just started his round. Yes, yes, yes that did. Ludwig Berg. He's uh, yeah. minus one through four. So um, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't boost, know anything. That's we'll, funny. I, I actually. It boosted him over at Superbook Sports. Uh, he was 30 to one, they boosted him to 40 to one for me. He was like kind of my long shot as well. So that's hilarious that uh, we happen to be cheering for the same side. I did though have a big fat loser of uh, Xander Shoffley to uh, have the first round uh, highest score, lowest score, excuse me, first round leader. And that is a dead on loser. Some of my matchups though for Splash Sports look really great. Bryson DeChambeau, I put in two of my lineups. So, so far we're hanging out, nothing too crazy yet. I did bet Tiger not to make the cut. And then of course he subsequently birdied, uh, but that's okay. Carmine, we're going to talk hockey tonight. No questions in the chat yet, but if you guys have one, make sure you drop it in the comment section. Carmine, let's just start right off the top. I'm going to open up the Wager Talk odd screen. That way we can just go in order of puck drop. Yeah. Tonight, the Columbus Blue Jackets take on the Florida Panthers. And the Florida Panthers are such huge favorites, rightfully so, right? We have the Columbus Blue Jackets who are just, my guess, coasting in to the end of the regular season. They've already booked their uh, family trips to Mexico, I'm guessing, and they just want this season to be over. They do. I was watching the game or the way they played in Tampa, and I had the over for my clients in that one. And, and uh, I thought to myself, the game is 4-2 to two for, for, for Tampa with about three minutes left. I'm like, uh, Columbus isn't going to pull their goalie. What do they care at this point, they're going to keep him in there. And then lo and behold, the goalie comes out of the net. And I think it was Stamkos scores into an empty netter uh, for a hat trick. Or somebody got it. I think it was Stamkos gets a hat trick with 20 seconds left. And the over hits. But, yeah, they're playing out, uh, they're playing out the season. It's, it's a game of importance for Florida. Because right now, they've got three games left. And they're three points up on Toronto for the number two seed in, in the Atlantic Division. Toronto has a game in hand on them. And they're going to play the second uh, second to last game of the season against each other in Florida. So if, if Toronto uh, uses that game in hand and wins it, uh, they, could, they could very well be a point apart. And that game, um, the 81st game of the season, could very well decide home ice uh, in the first round of the playoffs. I think it's important for Toronto to get home ice because uh, I don't think that they could, they'll win a series. They have a tough enough time winning a series. I'm not going to make fun of them. Um, Why not? As it that's is, that's like year's what you're known time. for, just obliterating yes, yes. the Leafs. Yeah, it, it's because so my friends, so many of my friends are Leaf fans. I grew up with that culture around me, and I was never a fan. But uh, it's been 18 years, and they've only gotten out of the first round once, and that was last year where they beat Tampa. And then their fans chanted at the end of the game, we want Florida. We want Florida. And they got Florida. And they also got knocked out in five games. So uh, be careful what you wish for in this world uh, sometimes because um, you might get it and not like it. 
but uh, we'll see. The The Leafs are playing extremely well right now, and I think with home ice, they probably could beat Florida in a seven-game series. Yeah, I mean, hey, Toronto has uh, one of the best home ice advantages in the country, mainly because opposing fans can never afford tickets because mostly fans cannot yeah. afford tickets. Uh, we do have a YouTube question here. Let's pop it up on the screen. To the bank, Senators and Lightning over six and a half and Lightning team total over. What do you think, Carmine? Well, here's the thing about Tampa Bay Lightning. They are starting Matt Tompkins tonight in goal. Uh, he's only played four games for Tampa Bay, all of them on the road. This is his um, first game at home in front of his fans, and his family is probably going to be there as well, too, to cheer him on. The four games that he's been in um, have all been high-scoring games. Um, 32 goals scored in four games for an average of eight per game. So um, if you like that trend, then you're going to want to bet the over. Uh, Ottawa's in the same boat uh, in the sense of Ottawa, uh, they're playing out the season. Um, they were playing spoiler role for a little while and scoring a bunch of goals, and then it kind of dried up. But I could see similar to the uh, game, uh, the, the Tampa-Columbus game, I think we could see some goals in this one. So... Goals of plenty tonight for the Ottawa Senators. Carmine Bianco says, if you guys have a, car, a question like to the bank, drop it in the comment section. Carmine, we're going to keep this one rolling. Next up, let's talk about a game that's more of a coin flip, at least uh, in my opinion, as opposed to uh, some of these huge money lines. We've got the Buffalo Sabres, Washington Capitals. Buffalo's 135-ish or so on the wager talk odd screen. Total six. Both these teams, are they jockeying for playoff position or are they pretty much set where they're going to be? Well, the, the Sabres, the Sabres are uh, essentially um, out of the playoffs, even though mathematically they haven't been eliminated. They are they are eliminated. Just the way in which the teams in front of them have games against each other are, are going to get one or two points, which would eliminate the Sabres. Washington's in a playoff spot right now, but that could change at the end of the night. They lost 6-3 to Buffalo, um, I, I believe it was last week in Buffalo, and uh, and they fell apart in the third period. They allowed three goals in a span of uh, two and a half minutes, uh, fell apart, lost that game, and that was an important one for them. Another important one for them uh, tonight because Detroit and Pittsburgh are playing each other, and both teams are one point behind uh, Washington for that final playoff spot. So it's a big game for for Washington. The problem is that the Sabres just play the same type of game all the time. They're, they don't take a game off. It's their second to last game at home. They're doing fan appreciation night. I don't even know what that really means uh, when you don't make the playoffs. Uh, there's not much your fans really appreciate, but they're going to give away jerseys and all this other stuff. And they would love nothing better than play the spoiler role here against Washington. Uh, we had Brian Leonard on the show uh, on Puck Time earlier today, and he liked Washington as uh, a show best bet at plus 115. And I can see where he's coming from. They haven't been playing well. Uh, they did beat Detroit. They got lucky to beat Detroit. Detroit made two mistakes, both led to goals and 2-1 final score for Washington. Uh, the Sabres can score, so if Washington, uh, if they make even one or two mistakes, uh, the Sabres will make them pay for it uh, in what is a, a big game for them. I wouldn't lay a dollar thirty-five with Buffalo. I just think uh, a team that's eliminated against a team that is hungry and uh, and and needs points. Um, I just don't want to take it. I would lean to the under in this game. I think Washington's key to trying to win this game and trying to pick up points is to play a defensive game like they did against Detroit. They finished two to one, uh, get it to overtime, pick up at least a point, and then take your chances from there to get that second point. Lean towards the under and a uh, little tidbit today from puck time, yeah. uh, plus 115 for Brian Leonard. I might have to join him on that one. That was kind of the coin flip game I was referring to. Carmine, what's another game on tonight's slate while we're waiting for the questions to fire up for us that you really like? Yeah, um, I'll, this one's the late one of the night if you guys like it. And I've got some, I've got some uh, cool props. You guys always ask me for props when I'm on here uh, in the comment section. So I'm going to have some for you. Some of them are a little juicy as well, too. But 
Calgary and, and the LA Kings. The LA Kings are still jockeying for position as well, too. They're in the playoffs right now. Calgary isn't. Uh, Calgary finally got a win on the road last time out against San Jose of all teams, uh, who are one of the worst teams in the league this season. But prior to that, they had lost six straight games, all in regulation. Now, I'm not telling you to lay $1.95 with with Los Angeles because uh, I never lay that type of vig on any team uh, in the NHL, but the regulation line is about 125, 130. And that's a play I gave out on puck time. And it is a client play as well too, a smaller client play uh, for me. And I'm taking the Kings in regulation. They have rolled off five straight, uh, six straight wins at home, averaging five goals per game. Uh, they're playing extremely well right now. They're gearing up for the playoffs and getting hot at the right time. Ooh, late night special. That's what our good friend Drew Martin Betts likes to call that one. Carmine said the Kings are the side he likes there. All right, guys, no questions. We have no questions from the comment section. It's a sleepy Thursday. You know why? Because all of you guys are watching the Masters like I'd like to be doing. Just saying it is what it is. Carmine, I'm going to cut the show short if we don't have any other questions. If there's anything you'd like to leave the audience with, a prop bet, a best bet, where they can find you, what you've got over up at Wager Talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have one, uh, I have three plays up, but one of them is a 5% play tonight. You can use the, the code CARM10 to get $10 off that play. It's one of the earlier games. So uh, if you want to grab it, uh, it's there. Or you can get 30-day um, all-access for 188, um, uh, and that's going to get you the next 30 days of everything: NHL, baseball, and uh, and soccer. Now, here's a couple of tidbits uh, um, and some quick ones I'll run through on props. New York Rangers, Mika Zibanejad, uh, his shot total is set at two and a half minus 130. He's gone over in five straight in nine of his last ten times. He's gone over that number of two and a half shots on goal. Uh, the Leafs, they're making a push for Austin Matthews to get the 70 goals in their next two games, which are both at home before they head down to Florida to play Florida and Tampa. I think they want to get them that number before they head down to Florida. Anytime goal for Austin Matthews is minus 130. You have to lay some big. But here's where it gets it gets better. Uh, Austin Matthews, two or more goals tonight, plus 425. And Austin Matthews, three or more goals plus 1400 um, at Bet Rivers. Uh, DraftKings has it at about 10 to 1. And there are some books that have it at 20 to 1. So shop around, find the best price, Austin Matthews, because he is pretty much, they're playing New Jersey again, who they just beat the other day, 5 to 2. And uh, they're going to feed him the puck. He's going to be shooting on that. They want to get him to that elusive 70 club on goals. He's on 66 right now. Final one. Dylan Larkin uh, of Detroit, um, shots on goal, three and a half, even money. He's uh, five into his last seven games, and he's averaged 4.22 shots per game since coming off the injury list. That's uh, nine games ago. Uh, so I think he's a good bet in uh, a big, big game for Detroit tonight in Pittsburgh. It's a huge game. Usually your stars show up. So we'll see if Dylan can get at least four shots on goal. He is Carmine Bianco. You can catch him over on Puck Time with Andrew McInnes on the Wager Talk YouTube channel at Carmine Bianco WT on social media. And again, NHL right now, you can get all of Carmine's NHL through the rest of the season. 188 bucks, wt.buzz backslash CB. Hope you guys enjoy all of the masters that, that has to be watched this weekend. I'm so excited to do a whole lot of nothing Finally not traveling, and we're going to enjoy myself. We'll be back next week with some more game time with KIV.